think the squid has a, had a beard. Oh, he grew it in actually in the last uh, two minutes. As a matter of fact, he's very that's, prolific. That's a talent. Yeah, he shaves it every day, and that's it just grows back at the same at the same length. It's very terrifying, but um, he's developed the ability to do that. Dying Master looking nice. Like, Dai kind of has the meta wearing a beanie because it's super cold in this venue. Really, I'm doing all right. Bro. You're not cold. Nah, yeah. it's cold, dude. I saw Justin go back behind us and turn up the uh, he turned up the thermostat. Well, it was nice of Justin. Yeah. Justin told me I definitely snuck mm -hmm. into this venue through the back way, and I opened the door, and Justin's standing there with like crossed arms, like, "What are you doing here? Why are you trying to break in?" And I'm like, "Please." He let me through. He's a nice guy. To and bouncer. Yeah, To definitely bouncer, definitely strong. I saw him bench press 550 pounds earlier today, and also throw a kid into the ocean. Always got to get in a good workout yeah. for so, T.O.ing. So Squid knows that if he changes the level, he'll play better. That's a thing he's told me. Also, he's always player three. Okay. Just likes the start. That's how he does. He's always player three, almost always Red Falco, but not today. I think they're going clean. Match up against uh, Master and Dai, who actually just had a very great set against uh, Grillo and Grillo and, uh, yeah. and Far. That's a strong team. It's uh, very good that they beat them. Both of these Irvine players have a lot of experience playing against Luigi Kid, though the question is, do they know the matchup or they don't, do they know how to play against Luigi Kid? And I believe that's always the question when you travel out of region and play a similar character matchup, but Kamaster does a smart thing, holds on to the ledge, just rolls up. And I was actually talking to uh, Taj a little bit earlier just about Luigi and about some of the things that he has in doubles. And one of the things to consider with Luigi is that he doesn't get the free reign on the ground that he gets in singles. He doesn't get to move around the horizontal space the way he can in singles. And he actually gets a surprising oh. amount out of... Oh, wow! There goes Kira. Kamaster, deep. Red team with a pretty decisive lead so far. Yeah, both of these players have played against Luigi Kid both in singles and doubles. They both have good ways of working around him. Luigi Kid often teams with a spacey Malachi. Okay. Who mostly tries to stay evasive while Luigi Kid does the heavy lifting. But in this case, um, I talked to Cesar who played Com Master and has played Luigi Kid and beaten him once. I mean, you know, Luigi Kid's still positive, but he says Com Master's neutral is just out of this world. Just and a different world altogether. And you saw that in the short period that he had the 2v1. He didn't go in, he wasn't trying to play the 2v1, he just got away. His movement was fantastic, even when stuck on a platform, managed to get away, managed to stay safe and not take too much damage. Both green team off stage. The side B is into him. Com Master still picking up. And uh, Red Team actually set up that double edge guard situation with a really good decision by Kamaster to trade in there with, I believe, what looked like a Falco back there. But it worked out really well in their favor. I like to see Squid going for the edge guards on Luigi and teams. If he gets a dunk, he can actually just finish off Luigi much quicker than some other characters. And that situation is so tough with Luigi just because Luigi has no horizontal drift on his up B whatsoever. Good cover by Kieran Squid. No possibility to not ask for Wow, great save. All right, pretty even. Squid holding stock really nicely. Kira mostly taking the initiative, trying to break through the other team's lines. Mm -hmm. And I think out. when you have this uh, Fox Falco team combination, you kind of have a bit of a luxury as to being able to switch off offense and defense. Yeah, super versatile team. A lot. They work very well together. If they ever try and 2v1 Kira, Squid can just laser a bunch. Oh my oh god, there's, he's not doing this. You want to know why they call him Styles? Why did he partially, do that? Partially because it's his last name, but also because he Styles on you. Was that good? <laughs> I mean, they have a lead now. Jesus. I did not think he would do that. He's, he's a legend. He's a legend. He's so cool. Oh no, he's back throwing them. Almost got the double edge guard on both of them. We've seen that pretty frequently though. Kamaster edge guarding with the forward tilt on the side beast. Mm -hmm. Alright, great hold by Squid, just clearing space for Kira to return to stage. Ooh, whiffs an up smash and eats a back air for it. Not able to recover. Kamaster. Wow, Khan not taking the stock. This is surprising. He Oh, there we go. He takes the stock. Oh my god, right as die is about to die? Oh, he's trying to get invincibility just when they're trying to kill him? That's kind of risky. He's an up smash a couple percent, too. 2v1 scenario, Squid should probably take the lead. Kira is going to definitely be out of here unless there's a monster team save. That's Ooh. it. Damn. Wow! Come master putting the team on his back. Holy hell. I don't want to.
want to play this guy. He's spooky. Yeah, that, that was nuts. The way he edge guard did both. Yeah. Both spaces at the same time saw the weaknesses that Falco had in the recovery, able to force Fox down oh to try God. to recover up. Oh my gosh, the presence of mind. So Cobb Master had like five crazy things that game. How do you two of you want them? He's Luigi. Well, his last name Styles. What do you expect from a man whose last name is Styles? I don't expect him to win a 2v1 versus Kieran Squid. It was a good situation for him. He picked his invincibility well, but my god. Okay, we're going right back to Battlefield. Let's see how they try and isolate the Falco a little bit better. Kira covering away. Ah, oh, that was a very late grab from Kamaster, but... Yeah. I was actually interfering with Squid's coverage on Falco. He was covering Tech toward the left, Kira Tech toward the right in place. Cobb Master grabbed just when he needed to. I like the decision from Dai to stay back, kind of dash dance, wait for the green team to make a move that he can see punishable. Able to pop up Kira in the air and land the forward smash. Another double edge guard situation for Team Red. Tried to save him with up B, didn't quite work out. Falco's kind of really hard to... Good weight, unbelievable tech from Cobb Master. He's playing great. Dai had a really filthy empty jump. Empty jump F smash. Green team sandwiched in between. Okay. And there it's Kira's job to clear away space for Kira. Or Squiz, excuse me. Die in trouble in the 1v1. Now great with Calm Master done, they might be able to convert this. That was great DI from Calm Master off of the jab from Kira, but actually just ended up putting him in the perfect situation for a Squid to back air him. But sometimes that's just doubles. Nice stage control by Kira Squid and no problems getting back to the edge. Oh no! Oh. That did not go the way Green right wanted his to. Teammate. Oh no. Maybe he should have backed room. Just get him out of there. Okay, 1v1, Squid die in the corner. Squid likes to target switch back to Calm Master. Exerts a lot of good pressure on him. But all of a sudden, Calm Master reverses it. He's playing really, really well. He's able to pop him up on the top platform and react to the tech roll. Another thing that I actually heard from Taj earlier about how uh, Luigi actually can use the platforms really well to extend his combos despite not having great aerial movement. Because he does get to wave lane along and he puts some pretty big hitboxes out. There are a lot of situations where Red Team's not in a situational or positional good spot, but Calm Master and Dyer are just fighting their way out. And that's another form of just very good team to play. Double laser, not something the squid normally does, but he's just trying to clear space for Kira. The double fair? Man, these double edge guard situations. Wow. Well, I don't know if we've ever seen them drop one yet. They're working together really, really well as a team. Boys can make a pretty big run here in the doubles tournament. Trying to eliminate her by. Big time master by himself. He will be able to just let Stone survive. Squid elects not to challenge him there. Decides rather to move towards uh Move towards Dai as we see them focusing a little bit on him up on the platform there. Kira needs to get out of here with the stock. Good back throw that time, I like that. If Kira, if Kira's able to find this kill on Kamaster, who's starting to get to a higher percent before he loses his stock, ooh. However, another double edge guard situation. Kira's gonna have to 2v1 way against him right now. Good shot out of shield. Okay, now you just gotta move entirely to Kai. You don't get to edge guard in the 2v1 like this, unless you really, really trick him and time it perfectly. Ooh, right stuck on the ledge. Here's the edge guard situation. Actually, fireball, uh, Firefox is right through the fireball. Yeah. I mean, even if he gets hit by fireball, it's got such low stun that he can just mash side B or up B again. Mm -hmm. Oh, just a little bit too late. Yeah, fishing for that up smash. Luigi being the floaty character that he is would absolutely die to an up smash or a back air. Okay, that's one, but you still have one stock of Tom Master and another stock of Kai to contend with. Good 2v1 scenario, but he's keeping him out. Kira playing like a monster. Uh-oh. He's getting fire punched. Oh, he, he misses missed. the sweet spot! Just the coins. That's not going to be enough. Man, Dai and Kai Master up two games. Let's see if they kind of pick back to Battlefield. <laughs> a little bit wow. afraid after that. Two very impressive games from Diane Kamaster, but Team Irvine is playing well. They've done well to get to this point so far. We've seen that they can be a formid formidable team. Uh -huh. What kinds of adjustments do you think they could make going into these further games that could help them? I'm not sure. I feel like it's just a couple little things. They're going to rework the way they approach neutral in some spots. Maybe talk about some of the team saves, but in those situations, they didn't really have them. They're both very adaptive players. They plan very well, and they don't panic under pressure.
And before the game, you were talking a little bit about what the trick might be, and I think you said that Kira was the one that figured it out. If they just unplug Camaster's controller. Yeah. No, that's going to be a big part of it. I think it's too late at this point. It's going to be very suspicious if they go to the center of the stage and try and unplug the controller. So, unfortunately, that option not very available to us at this point. We're going to Pokemon Stadium. Partly, you know. Honestly, I think it's Kill Commander earlier. Luigi's floaty, up smash it from Fox. If Kira can find a way to land him, maybe. It's, I don't know. A lot of your choices in doubles come down to like, structural things more than they do specific 1v1 character matchups. Squid gets to control a lot of space with the lasers. Claw Master is, you know, going to be on one side or the other most of the time. It stops this frame of influence, and they get to isolate whoever they want. But when you talk about isolation at this point, regardless of your squid or Kira, do you want to be matched up? Do you want to be in that isolation against Kamaster the way he's playing today? I think Squid is a little bit more comfortable with it. Kira definitely comfortable in the matchup as well. And it's what you got to do, right? They're both boys to do really well in singles. You got to beat some good people. You know, Squid can stay side of laser heavy if they have die on the other side and see what Kira can do, convert into a 2v1 of him. And in this situation, Squid can just laser over and over and over again. Fantastic laser from Squid, forcing him into the corner, giving him a good advantage, but Dai putting the real pressure onto Squid now at the corner. And sometimes in extended 1v1 combos in doubles, it's a sign of tunnel vision, but in that case, Dai knew that he just needed to keep Squid contained. Very good choice. Squid forcing it now, Kira defending the back line. Time Master target switches back to the back. A great day from Kira getting out of the way of what could have been a back air off of uh, Kamaster's up throw, but finally just got to that percent where you're not going to live with any DI. Kira finally coming to Squid's rescue there off the Apex building. They find an edge guard on Dai. And now Kamaster can't convert on Squid. And it is very difficult to convert when you're Luigi in that situation popped up so high in the air. He doesn't. Squid elected to stay back and shoot lasers as Kira was getting comboed in the hopes that one of them would just completely disrupt him. We got a laser battle on the right side of the stage while Kamaster tries to edge guard Kira. Yeah, Dai trying to keep Squid occupied. But Irvine doing much better this game. We got a nice stock ish lead. Positionally, this is working very nicely. Now, I'm not sure what just happened, but it looked like Kamaster just used Dai as a projectile. It does sound possible. Get him into the fray. Okay. While Squid keeps Dai contained. Oh no. Big miscue. This should be a double edge guard, but Squid can dunk. Gonna be hard with Com Master here though. And all of a sudden this is swung back toward Com Master. Dai. Not undoable for Irvine though. Yeah. Sitting at very low percents while Red Team is still kind of close. getting Squid up there. forcing in on his transformation. I'm okay with this. He's demonstrating that you can't jump at me. He's making a strong statement, okay. forcing both members of the red team to go underneath the tree. Both of them are back. Com Master gets spared and he dies. Squid with great pressure on this transformation. Finds a second back air on Die. That's not going to be enough to kill. But now Kira's the one going in for the pressure go, while Squid attempts to uh, go after Com Master a little bit more. Great pop up aerial. Kira gets the kill there. And now you can actually start working on Com Master and say, why every big hit will kill you. And especially with Kamaster reaching 87%, uh, Irvine is starting to look pretty good on this game. That's going to be it. Now it's a 2v1 on Dai. Let's see how he handles it. Great choice there. Yeah, Squid needed Kira to rush it. And what did I tell you? Luigi, on this stage with a shorter ceiling, a lot easier to kill him. Takes away a lot of the threat that Kamaster was poising. But if you can find the up smashes for sure, it was down to Kira to do so, and he managed to do it. Okay. Where are we going? Final as possible, but structurally it's pretty similar to what they just saw. I, I would expect something more like Battlefield. The last time we, uh, the last time we saw Final Destination with uh, Kamaster and Die, yep. uh, I hear Dreamland. Yep. Steven Shackelford, I hear Dreamland. Smart choice there. It's going to give him a lot of space. <laughs> Kai's going to live absolutely forever. You're going to have to basically victimize Die whenever you can. Squid's laser game is going to be a bit mitigated because you do have platforms to work around. In this case, one of Luigi's hardest matchups being Falco. Partly because you can just make sure Luigi can't move in neutral. 
Early kill on Jira, but Squid did a really good job of keeping Oh, the red team contained off to the side. Smart Shine Stall trying to get Ka Master back in the fray. Squid finds the bear around Ka. Ooh, this could be an early kill. He didn't have the down B charged. Good Sometimes just melee wants you to lose. Yeah. I mean, you've got a Fox and a Falco cornering you like that. Sometimes you're just going to lose your stock. You're automatically ready as soon as Squid's in trouble. There are just some situations where they just get to combo dying, and Cop Master can't really save them at all. Great roll division between Kira and Squid there. They do let Red Team back. Got some pressure. Master able to find the pressure to force Kira off the stage, but Kira goes for the high recovery, not able to be covered by Dai. Kira's back in the center of the stage. Great grab and recognition. Go for the up air. Ah, Kira's hesitation might have cost him a stock here. Great lasers. That's what I'm looking for in games one and two. Three saves. Wow. Uh, Die able to find the back air even while under heavy laser fire from Squid. Yeah, well played. When we talked about Kyle's possible survivability. It's not looking like it's happening this game. I think that early kill really, really did a number on Red Team. Even while being 2v1, Kai is still finding, Dai is still finding these edge guards. He's playing really nice stuff. Accidental no. back throw won't be a big deal. And at the beginning of the set, we talked a lot, a lot about Kamaster, a lot of the crazy things Kamaster was doing. But really, it's starting to look like the heart and this, and the heart and the soul of this team is Dai. He's really coming in clutch where he needs to, and not, not getting flubs. Another down B goes not how he wanted to. I mean, you know, the nature of Luigi, your teammate does have to step up, at least stay mobile. But Luigi can't do it alone. Dai, Dai's been playing well. Okay. A lot of team trust there. Squid said, I'm really confident that Kira's gonna get the sledge, the sledge dash. There's nothing that I need to do to save him. Forward tilt actually such a great spacing tool with Luigi. Oh yeah. This fire just when he needs it. It's kinda like uh, Dai was in a little bit of a little bit of trouble over on the other side of the stage, and Commander was just like, you know what? Rocket ship. Get over there as quick as I can. <laughs> Perfect scenario for the red team there. They both possibly had games, but Irvine survives. A lot of damage mounting up. It looks like we are around the end of this game. Ooh. Not a quick enough reaction from Kamasa. He's going to die to the meteor uh, from the side B, and up smash is enough to kill. <laughs> team Irvine looking significantly stronger as the set goes on. We advance to game five. Do you think we might see a Captain Falcon switch? I'd be surprised, honestly. Um, I, I think that would be really interesting to try and pick that into Squid. I think that would just be a tough matchup. Okay, we're going to final. They're going to try and make this flat type of scenario work better, one of Luigi's stronger stages historically. Keep them separated and keep them moving. But I feel like the problem is Squid and Kira have demonstrated their ability to win on any type of stage. And as I spoke to a little bit earlier, um, Luigi, who typically does like this stage because he gets the ability to move around, doesn't get as much of that in doubles because of how much more space becomes dangerous. He doesn't get the liberty to move around freely as he does in singles. It's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit column A, a little bit of column B. A lot of the, you know, some classic counterplay you can play against Luigi is jumping at a specific range where his wave dash can't really. Oh my God! But you can't set up the way that you can in, in singles. In doubles. But really, the only other option was Yoshi's, mm -hmm. and it's really just, do you want that to be a thing? Mm -hmm. Do you want to play on that crazy, crazy stage? Another and early kill on Kamaster. Master. Master losing stocks super quickly, just like happened last game. Oh no, Kira! All right, one of them had to live. Okay. Squid did what he needed to do. The only possibility is if Kira ended up above the stage and he lasered, or he moved past the two red teammates and shined or something like that. Dai proving very clutch for the red team right now, trying to hold on to the stock for as long as he can, even while eating an up smash from his own teammate, keeping Squid locked down to the side while Cobb Master tries to edge guard Kira, but Kira will make it back to the center of the stage and try to flip this on him. Yeah, Squid was in trouble there. I wanted to see Kira rush to his aid a little bit better, but he understood the scenario better than I did, for sure. Oh! Monster combo from Dai. Gets the high lasers, but Squid's back in time. Master in danger of losing his third stock here. 
Great awareness oh. from Kira. Scoped out the Nair in that situation. But you know, if you're the Falcon, you have a lot of stocks to play with, you're pretty happy. That guy definitely has a lot of room to move right now, lots of room to be the aggressor, which is the role he needs oh. to take right now with Monster Combat Master being on his last stock. Okay, 2v1 on the Falco. Squid just rolls away. If he can get away with it, buys enough time to reset. We're okay with that. Dai is holding his own exceptionally well this game. Hot Master's had a few kind of fluky kills. Or deaths, I guess. The master went to the ledge there, trying to read the sweet spot from Kira, but Kira just made it back on the stage, and now his dash dancing out, finds his way on Dai, knocks him off stage. It's an awkward scenario when Squid starts lasering. Um, Dai is getting into scenarios where he wants to laser as well. He needs to laser here. Oh, my God. Okay. That might be the set. This might be super, super pivotal right here. Oh, my God. What an accidental down here. And they finish Pop Master here. Safely retreats to the ledge. Dai coming back and he actually read the jump over. Oh wow, great save from Dai actually ends up killing Swid. Oh my god, is Kira done for here? He is. Oh my Calm Master, no. And now it's an even game back again. Immediately takes the stock. Kira sitting at 67%. Finds the tries to find the jab reset, not able to get it, and Kira goes in with the drill shines. Green team doing monster damage on Dai right now. Dai needs to survive without too much. Calm Master tries to reverse it out. All of a sudden, Green Team has almost evened up the percentage here. Okay. Die off stage. Kira need to. Kira needs to get this edge guard. Good teamwork here. Oh, that's gonna be it. That is it. Wow. Great execution wow. at the end by Irvine. Hard fought set. Absolutely. Irvine eliminates the tryhards from the tournament. Yeah. Prince of.